So I decided just to do one right now, just to a voiceover on Batman Arkham City. I'm not gonna lie guys, Batman Arkham City is one of my favorite games. Um, it's really, not gonna lie, it's really challenging, but it's an awesome game. The graphics are good, the story, the, um, even the gameplay of it is really good, and the graphics are amazing, as you guys could tell. Um, this is actually the PS4 version. Um, because my nephew, he bought the Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, like, double back on the PS4, and I told him if I could borrow it. So, yeah, right here, like, this is, um, when you face, what's his name again? Solomon Grundy. Yeah, this is Solomon Grundy, um, boss battle. And right here, you have Batman and the Penguin, so yeah. I'm actually, if you guys didn't notice by the beginning, I was actually using, um, the Bat, um, the animated series skin, but obviously in the clips it won't show that. But yeah, I have, that's one of my favorite um skins, either the Batman animated series skin or the um Batman Beyond, I believe, which which where he's all black and then the Batman logo, it's red. So um yeah, and also I just want to mention mention this to you guys. Sorry about the um, voice quality and the voiceover quality sounds different is because I'm using my headphones my Apple headphones is because my adapter for my Blue Yeti it, it broke so I have to go buy I have to go buy a new one I'll probably will go today but um yeah so yeah yeah you need the blue you need an adapter in order in order for you to like use your Blue Yeti to connect it to your iPhone iPad or without the adapter and you weren't able to use your blue yeti but um yeah so yeah right here we're just like um battling against um solomon grandi solomon grandi he's a pretty badass villain he's pretty freaking big not gonna lie like holy crap like in video games like they make the villains really big but again what do you expect right they're supposed to do that i mean and yeah man yeah you battle solomon stages this is the first stage and right here you just have to put like grenades i think they're grenades i'm not sure on those electronic like circles in order to defeat him so yeah that's the first stage you just run up to him and punch him and then yeah and then penguin he has like a remote that controls him so yeah boom yeah right there and this is the second stage i believe yeah this is the second stage where you like battle him and he looks pretty badass look at that in my opinion he looks pretty badass yeah and then he tries to throw these fireballs at you and yeah so yeah you just have to dodge them and do the same thing as the first stage just throw the grenades where the electronicals are and you just have to be careful with the fireballs i mean this boss battle is not that hard it's pretty easy you just have to like um, not get hit by his fireballs and stuff, and you just have to throw, you have to, you just have to put grenades on the, on the electronicals, yeah, right there, I was getting hit for being a dumbass, sorry for, sorry for my curse, and then right here, he just catch, he just catches you, and then he throws you, so yeah, if you get close to him, he'll catch you, and then he'll just throw you like, how he did right now, so, So yeah. 
busier than that was my stomach um but my favorite boss battle has to be probably clayface because i i just like the boss battle so much and also the story of it like how it turns out i'm not gonna spoil you all it because i don't want to spoil it for the people who haven't played the game but if you guys have played the game and beat it you guys won't know what i'm talking about but if i'm going to be really honest i enjoy the boss battle from arkham asylum the final boss battle more than this final boss battle i believe the final boss battle from arkham asylum was more it was more fun and and it was really exciting he battled the Joker like oh never mind guys I'm not gonna spoil that neither because I don't want to spoil the story for the ones who haven't played these games but yeah but yes you do you do fight the Joker in Arkham Asylum as the final boss battle and then on this one you fight um Clayface and right here is Mr. Freeze the hardest boss battle in my opinion for me it was against Raja Ghoul and yeah Mr. Freeze wasn't that difficult it was pretty easy to Mr. Freeze and yeah and also you could play as Catwoman but I haven't played her story mode I've seen videos of it on YouTube it looks pretty cool because when you play Catwoman you uh, you do you go up against um, Poison Ivy so that's pretty cool and yeah um, so yeah I bought the DLC back well I didn't buy it well my brother did for me and I decided to pick um, Batman from the Animated Series because that's my favorite skin. Also, there's Batman Beyond, which he looks pretty dope, not gonna lie, because he's all black. And he has the red um, Batman symbol on his chest. And speaking of Batman, I'm excited to, for the new Batman movie that's coming out in 2012, which has the actor from Twilight as Bruce Wayne. Not gonna lie, he's a pretty, in the trailer when I saw it, um, he, he, it looks like he could be a really good Bruce Wayne, a really good Batman. I believe the villain's the Riddler, and I forgot, and I forget the actor's name, so sorry about that, but yeah, he plays in Twilight, but I just forget his real name, I'm looking forward to it, and also, like, I'm looking forward to the new Spider-Man, uh, movie, which comes out next month, so, um, yeah, and then, that's one of Roger Cole's ninjas, for a second, I thought it was the Dalek Cole, but that's not the Dalek Cole, that's, um, Ron, that's one of Roger Cole's ninjas, just telling Bruce Wayne, um, Bruce Wayne, Pam is just telling Mr. Freeze that he has to go and talk with Raja Ghoul. And right here, she's, she just escapes. And right here, it's about to end. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoy.